though as hard as I do. Oh, I brought some to the party for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I'm pretty excited for this video. I just bought some new products, got some new orders in. So today's video is going to be a gone a b a. It's gonna be a test slash review over some new products that I just got. It'll be like a first impressions because I haven't tried a lot of them. Also, don't forget if you're not subscribed, do so. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Okay guys, so the first new product we're going to be testing is the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Everybody on YouTube, Instagram has been raving over this, so I figured let's give it the test. Let's give it the Kaylee test. See if it really is all the hype that says it is. They didn't have a lot of light shades like they were out of stock. So the shade I got is Buff Bisque. And we will see if it matches. And if not, that's not stopped me before. So first off, it comes with this little spatula. Which I think is a lot better than when they come with nothing. And you have to pour it out. So that's a step up in my opinion. It does have a little bit of the tint of like real paint, but not enough that it would like turn me away from the product. Okay, so another new product I'm going to be testing out is new to me. It's not new to everybody else. I've heard of it, just never used it. It's the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. For today's testing on our face, we're going to use the sponge on one half and then a brush on the other. That way we can see what works best with this foundation. My color actually matched really nice. Okay, so with a beauty sponge, it actually goes on really well, and I feel like the product spreads really well, and even though it looks full coverage, it doesn't feel full coverage. You know how they can feel heavy and stuff like that? This one doesn't feel heavy at all, and now we're going to try it with a brush and see if it does the same. Okay, so with the brush, it goes on really nice too. Um, I feel like it's a little bit more full coverage on the side that I use the brush. So, for me personally, I would probably use the brush to put this foundation on. But, as of right now, I am a fan. Now, I'm just going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Um, it's kind of semi-new. I've been using it for a while, so this isn't going to be me testing it out. But, I can still tell you all my opinions on it. Also guys, you see how I've done the concealer like this and not in the big triangle like a lot of YouTubers do with this concealer? But when I first bought it, I've done that and I feel like it was a complete waste of product. This product spreads on its own and still has great coverage with you not doing the big triangle. Okay guys, so the next new product I'm trying out, I'm pretty hyped for. It is the new e.l.f. Total Face Palette. I mean, look at that. You're getting a complete reflection of all that's going on behind me. The whole thing is a mirror, even on the inside. Those shades are beautiful. So the first shade I am going to go in with is that orangey one that I think is supposed to be a bronzer, but it may not, and we'll see if it works, or if not, we'll just cover it up. I like that as a bronzer. It's more of a natural, like you got a suntan bronze okay the next shade we're going to go into is the contour shade and oh yeah so now we're going in with the blush it seems like it's going to be a beautiful shade let's see how it looks on the skin oh yeah i like this and then the last thing out of the elf total face palette is the highlighter this is a great palette you all should get it. Okay, so the next new product we're going to be going in with is not new to everybody. However, it's new to me. I've never owned it before. It is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye and Face Palette. What you feel like the really good pigment, which is what you would expect. So I'm really happy with that. And this color is bomb. So 
So I'm really impressed with the white. You all probably can't tell on camera, but it is a very pigmented white eyeshadow, which I found very hard to come across. Usually the whites look like nudes when you put them on their eye. They don't look like anything, but this one actually does look white. And the next new product we're going to be trying out is the e.l.f. cream eyeshadow or gel. I don't know. This is in the shade black. It also comes with a little brush. I usually don't like brushes to things, but we'll try it out and see how it works with this. Okay, so I really like this eyeliner. I highly recommend it. It goes on smooth and the pigment is there. And I actually like the little brush it comes with. I wish that it was longer because I don't like short brushes. But, I mean, if you can't afford a brush to go with it, this one is great. Now we're going to throw on some mascara. This isn't a new product. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And let me just say, it's not, but it's real close. Now we're going to go in with a TARDIS lip paint. I've tried these before, highly recommend them, but this is a new shade. It's the shade XOXO. Alright guys, that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it and learned some new stuff about some of my new products. If you've ever tried any of these products or are looking forward to try some of them, let me know. Also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you're not. Thanks for watching guys.